NCAA basketball totals for Monday, February 13th. For you new people out there, this is a segment where we look at totals set by oddsmakers in NCAA hoops, and we try to beat that line to either over or under the show total. Having a pretty good season so far, hitting 55%, nice winning percentage uh, in NCAA hoops, especially on the totals that have been pretty tough this year. A lot of high totals. We also have our NBA Live segment. That's going to be going on at 4 o'clock Eastern. You want to tune into that because the feedback on there has been phenomenal. A uh, slight winning record in uh, NBA totals, but really no profit at all. You still want to tune in, though. Why? Uh, not that the information has been that great, but the feedback from everybody else out there has been phenomenal. So you want to tune in, chime in, ask a question. We can talk about games, and uh, even negative comments are welcome. Uh, you know, come on in uh, to that uh, segment. It's been a lot of fun. 1 o'clock Pacific, 4 o'clock Eastern. That's on the Facebook page. Uh, SBRPicks.com, Sportsbook Review, YouTube channel. It's all there for you, all the odds and numbers. So you definitely want to uh, check us out, and uh, hopefully that'll help out with your own handicapping. This is, again, where we're going to look at some totals. we got two on the card today, and uh, both of them are plays kind of about the number, where I'm just kind of going with the odds makers on this one. I'm not overthinking this too much, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, let's just go ahead and start breaking these down. First one up, we got a Syracuse and Louisville. 141. I'm going over this total. My first instincts, usually as a handicapper, for me in NCAA hoops, because I'm a big a big proponent of defense it is my first lean is always to the under. That's just how I'm made up. I, I can't change that. And that was the first thing I thought with this one, 141. Then I started looking at the number and I started like looking at these two teams and how they could put up points. And I'm going to go ahead and back uh, over this total, especially this. When we look at uh, like the last couple times they've met up the last three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times uh, they've met. They have not gone over this 141. And the numbers set by Ozmakers, the last several games, 127 and a half, 130 and a half, 124, 131, 135. I mean, a lot of low totals. Now they come up with a 141. That really gets my radar up. Sure, compared to years past, we have a, sh a shorter uh, shot clock. But even so, that 141 just kind of jumped out at me. So I'm going to go with the odds makers to back over that total and what should be a higher scoring affair than probably most people anticipate. Um and it starts to make a little bit of sense. So when we look at some of the numbers now, defensively, do I really need to talk about Syracuse and Louisville, two of the best defensive defenses in the country, especially Louisville. Syracuse plays that really tough zone defense that can be tough on teams that don't know how uh, to uh, to move the ball and move the people against a zone. You know, you got to find your open spot. You got the key about a zone. Um, you know, beating a zone defense is, you know, when you move, you got to rotate and you got to you got to switch spots. You got to find the middle. You got to find the open. So, I mean, you got to move around a lot. So zones can be very tough on a lot of teams that aren't that are just more used to playing man to man. Uh, however, Louisville, they can play it all because they got Rick Pitino as their head coach. So he'll know how to attack a zone. And I'm sure do a really good job. A lot of teams, they like sometimes to go ahead and penetrate and kick um, Louisville. I believe they're, they are going to be able to score, even though uh, the last time. They face Syracuse. They put up, uh, you know, they put up how much? They put 72 points. And then prior to that, they put up 69. So, you know, they have the, excuse me, last time before that, they put up just 59. So it seems like there was some improvement there, and they've shown an ability now to be a little bit more efficient against that zone offense. Again, you know, I'm just kind of thinking out loud here when it comes to this uh, matchup. I got a, a ton of thoughts I could I could break down, but that would just drive you guys crazy. Excuse me. Uh, defensively, Louisville's been fan fantastic, allowing just 62.8 points per game. That's uh, 14 in the country. But let's look at these teams offensively. Now, defensively, they're both solid. You know, two of the better defenses in the country, especially Louisville. They rank in the top 10 in most defensive categories. But offensively, these two teams can score, and the tempo should be fast enough. You got Louisville right now; they love to push pace, 61.2 attempts per game, and you got Syracuse. Excuse me, I got something in my eye. Uh, they're averaging 57.6. That's pretty quick for an extra, a team that plays zone like they do, and that's due to, of course, that quicker shot clock. But Syracuse, I mean, they could score 76.7 points per game. Louisville, 77.2 points per game. Uh, they're both their shooting percentages are pretty good. Louisville over 45%. Uh, Syracuse, they're shooting 46.2%, and they're shooting 39% from distance. Syracuse might be able to pull up the uh, pull off the upset here. Uh, in the end, though, I like the over. I think they're going to get over this 141. You know, it seemed at first glance compared to what we've seen in the past, a little bit low, but I actually think they get there. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm back over that total and we'll go from there. Next one up. Same kind of scenario, uh, but we're going under this total in the fact that we're kind of going in proportion with the odds makers have set. And this is Monmouth and uh, Siena. Now, um, they played last year a couple times. This will be the first time they've met this season. And Osmega said their total is 152 and a half and 153 and a half. They went over both those games. Now, of course, we have a little bit different personnel, but 
the fact that they went over both of those games and now oddsmakers have come out with a 151 uh, gets my radar up just a touch. So I'm going to go and go under this total against two teams that play some pretty decent defense, especially Monmouth. Let me tell you what I mean. So Monmouth is now is at Siena. This should be a pretty interesting matchup, actually. And uh, Monmouth's been fantastic in that uh, M M A the Mid Atlantic, excuse me, Metro Atlantic. That's a great conference. Uh, Monmouth they've been fantastic, and they've been fat, fantastic on the defensive end despite the pace they run. Because this is what I mean. Sorry, I digress. Monmouth they get up almost 63 attempts per game. They rank 24th in the country in attempts. That's some pretty quick pace. But on the defensive side, they're just allowing opponents to shoot just over 40%. They rank 28th in the country in opponent shooting percentage. It's a really good mid-major. They should be a little bit of a Cinderella uh, come March. Also, scoring-wise, they're fine. 79.8 points per game. Um, you know, they're shooting 42.3% from the field. That's not great, but they are shooting almost 36% from distance. They could score, and they love the push tempo, which really helps them. Siena, on the other end, uh, not bad defensively. Not great offensively. They're kind of there. I think they're about fourth uh, in that Metro Atlantic right now, but they are at home, you know, so you think they might be able to score a little bit more. And I think they will. But that 151, I think, is a bit too much when we look at these percentages here. They're shooting 44 percent for the floor. Uh, they they're outside the top 250 teams in shooting efficiency and effective field goal percentage. And then defensively, you know, they're not bad right now. They're allowing opponents 44.4 percent overall shooting, but only 32.6 percent from distance. And in proportion, that's Monmouth's strength. So I like for this game to go, you know, that's a lot of points, 151. So I like for this game to stay under that 151. Again, Monmouth, um, they push tempo, but they don't shoot at a really high rate percentage-wise, and they play great defense. So I, I think oddsmakers are on top of this, setting it at 151 instead of a little bit higher, despite the fact they've gone over the last two times on higher totals, just slightly higher, uh, last two times they've met, uh, matched up. And I, I think this is going to be a little bit better matchup than uh, the numbers uh, oddsmakers have it on the number right now. Let's check that out real quick since I'm thinking out loud uh, before I go ahead and sign off. See how much uh, Monmouth is uh, favored in this matchup. Give me just one second. Uh, first of all, uh, just a quick mention on that Syracuse Louisville game. I kind of like Syracuse plus the points. They're getting four right now. I, I think they can pull the upset. That's a pretty good Syracuse team. They're a little bit underrated, uh, but again, that ACC is so tough. And then we got Monmouth and uh, Siena. And Monmouth is favored, yeah, just by three. I thought it'd be, they'd be favored a little bit more. So Siena might be able to pull off the upset in that one as well. So uh, good matchups here. Uh, again, Quick recap, we got Louisville, Syracuse, we're going over the 141, and then we got Monmouth and Siena, we're going under the 151. Two good games, uh, probably both of them are going to come down the wire, good matchups here. Those are our two NCAA picks, don't forget to check out our NBA segment uh, live, 4 o'clock Eastern, and I wish you luck on your picks today. Go to SBRodds.com, browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbooks. 